Hey everybody, uh, my name is Alex Russo, and this is a little video about the sound design uh, I did for 3D Game Kit, and how I implemented it using the program Wise. Uh, I chose to do this project while taking classes at the School of Video Game Audio, and uh, I just really enjoyed the process. Um, I had to make around 40 assets for the project, um, so this is a little video uh, recapping how I went about doing that. So let's start with the ambience that you can hear. Uh, it's mostly made up of nature recordings I made uh, with a few library sounds mixed in. Those assets ended up in Wise's music containers, which I thought gave a nice amount of control over the different layers of ambience, uh, so you can kind of tweak it to get it to sit just right. Here you can see how I took some of the distant animal sounds like birds and frogs and anchored them to a position in the environment using Wise's positioning tab settings. This meant the environment sounds weren't locked into the stereo field. So when the camera moved, uh, so did some of those sounds uh, based on where they were anchored to. So I thought that helped create a more realistic and immersive audio experience for the player. So Ellen is the main character in the game and she has a, a glowing alien staff weapon that she swings around um, and I wanted to create kind of a, a powerful sound uh, for that weapon. Uh, so to do that I used a layered approach, uh, started off with a low then added a mid and then a high to create a nice full spectrum sound. Ellen walks over a few different types of surfaces in the game uh, so I went out and recorded all those different surfaces uh, myself and then implemented them into Wise as random containers um, with different pitches for the left and right feet uh, to give plenty of variance as she uh, moved about the world. Ellen's vocals were recorded in my yeah, home good. studio and then implemented into Wise as random containers uh, to give plenty of variance for her jump. Uh, her damage dealt and damage taken sounds. So moving on to the bad guys, uh, we got the grenade golem. He's the boss at the end of the first level, and I really wanted to make all his sounds have this, you know, sense of threat to them. Uh, so for his movement sounds, I used uh, some metal scrap recordings, um, recorded the drill. And then uh, there was a construction site by my house, which I was able to record some of their machinery, uh, which worked out quite well. For the attack sounds, I used a recording of masking tape pulled off a window, and then added a bunch of effects and, uh, to give a good bass for like an electricity sound, and then layered in some field recordings of lightning and some synths and some body. To help get that evil robot vibe, I layered in some vocoder sounds from Ableton. Uh, and in Wise, I added cooldown periods to make sure that they didn't trigger too often. Chompers are the pretty common bad guy alien dog creatures, and their sounds are mostly pitch shifted growls of humans and dogs and teeth chomping sounds. I also added in a music stinger add a sense of threat when the player is close by. So I created interactive music for the level using Ableton for both the explore sections and the boss. Uh, the random music container tracks in Wise are a really great way to use parts of a musical section to randomize and extend the arrangement. Uh, and you can really get a ton of mileage out of some relatively small chunks of music. So for the mixing stage, um, I really liked being able to connect to the game and kind of mix in real time. That's absolutely super helpful. Um, I also use some sidechain compression, so uh, sound effects push down the music bus um, when they were over a certain threshold, uh, just to kind of give everything a little more room to breathe, offer a little more clarity, which I thought was cool. All right, that's just about everything I did for this project. Uh, thanks for checking it out. Uh, I also have a complete playthrough video of this level, so you can kind of see how it all came together as a whole.